Stop hurling duck, you're out of luck, we don't give up Yeah, we're going up, next floor is us, you're riding with us Breathe in. <coughs> Breathe in. What? I spent the last hour dicking around with this. <laughs> oh, let me tell you guys. Episode seven. <coughs> seven. Wow. Sorry. Might as well be six, 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 six. Right? Yeah. It's Hopefully. definitely not lucky seven. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not lucky seven. <laughs> yeah, there was no luck on this seventh episode so far. But, uh, yeah. How about that? Well, welcome to the Massey Bros experience. <clears throat> yep. Yes. Is your uh, microphone uh, charting over there? I mean, chirpy. you see any microphone movement? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 And then is your microphone working? Yeah. Did you see it says Logitech and like a headset? Nothing moving? I think I. How about um, now? You... Yeah, Hmm. I wasn't hearing you. You went because I have that. All right. Yeah. There will be one more thing I fix at this episode of seven. The list is about as long as this sheet of the things that didn't work on this episode in the beginning. <laughs> Good times. Well, all right. Well, let's try that again. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode seven of Massey Bro Experience. How was your day? <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. I'm freaking losing my mind over here. I think you need a Snickers bar. I need to smoke weed. I think that'll work. Is, think is it legalized yet in Indiana? No. Because he's, he's, he's gosh darn conservative. You can, you can actually get the oil. Jeez. I mean, yeah, you need the oil. You need to bathe in that stuff. I'm fine. You're the one like. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, look at this. Straight as an arrow. You're shaking. Well, that's because normally your body does shake. <laughs> <laughs> Matt will probably <clears throat> shake a little <clears throat> bit, but you're like this. Yeah, man. It sucks. I don't know why it's doing it. i got to have to figure out some different things with the, uh, how the streaming program is. My goal is to get this all really ripped into shape, and then I'll do a, uh, a tutorial. <clears throat> and then any of you guys that are wanting to do your own stuff, your own podcast. My goal is to get hey, wonderful! Really that's good. that's you're talking in your microphone. That's I know. Bravo! I want to make sure our voices were actually that's co They're good. Okay. They're good. Sure. But anyways, until I got rudely, rudely, rudely interrupted, my goal is to make a tutorial on how to do a lot of this stuff and what to expect, and, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. How was your week? It was good. Um, I started, I got my transfer finished, and I'm working at my new <clears throat> store. Work at your new store. Nice. Um, enjoying. It's one by the showgirls, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, enjoying the 10, 15 minute drive versus an hour or 30 minutes for the longest time. So, 
been a really good time. I've met a lot of great people and uh, looking forward to doing some good stuff there. Yeah, um, that's great. So your plan is to go to the Lima store and take over that one, right? No. Um, what else did I do? Um, got a really good deal on a camera lens. Bought a uh, <coughs> Sigma. Are you using this? No. Do you, you want it? Yeah, beard. Yeah, I have that problem too. Oh, you can use this half. You want me to? And I'll use that half. There you go. Thank you. You gotta take care of your bro. <coughs> so yes, I bought a uh, 50 millimeter to 500 millimeter uh, telephoto lens. It's nice. like a dream lens I've wanted to get. Not exactly that lens, but I happen to be on Facebook Marketplace, and like usual, I. So find... you didn't dream about that lens. No, not the exact lens, but I've always wanted a telephoto lens to be able to take some pretty amazing shots at 500 millimeters. Um, this is like a $700 lens I got for 350 bucks. Nice. Um, Where's ours? I guess you're going to have to go get one. Huh. So hopefully uh, Sunday I'll be going out and testing it out. That's a coffee mug. That's a coffee mug. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, awesome. I used to do a trick. I don't know if I can reach or not. I probably can't. Matt will probably reach it. Oh, I used to do a trick. <clears throat> I used to have, you know, it's, it's got your coffee in it. But I used to do a trick where I'd be like, I'd have it, and I'd go with the give it to somebody. I'd be like, here, like, go to grab it. Go to grab it. They're like, oh my god! Because <laughs> they thought it was a real lens. <laughs> it was a funny joke to do to people. But, uh, yeah. Because it looks about the same size as it my does. 300 millimeter lens. So, so yeah, uh, I don't know. It's pretty much all I've done. <clears throat> Anything with the car? Nothing um, new there? You went to a car show. Had a lot of fun. a car show there. Was you got to shout out to, uh, what, BMZ? Is it? BMZ, uh, <clears throat> Dynamic Tuning. Um, they pretty much sponsored the car show. Um, we had 14 members of uh, the Flat 4 Nation show up. Uh, we all went out. We definitely flexed. Um, we took you guys over, went like this? Flexed oh, in front of... We had taken over like prime real estate in the parking lot for people where they were parking. Nice. It was awesome. So, <clears throat> it was a good rep representing. Um, if you guys want to see some photos of the uh, car show, um, I can upload them all onto the... Uh, you should. You make an album in your little yeah. matte photo corner. Yeah, I'll do that. And you guys can see some really cool stuff. There was some. Uh, there was a Ferrari. Uh, there was two GTRs. Was it a true Ferrari? Yes. It was a real Ferrari. Um, there was a guy, two guys with GTRs. They were uh, doing basically like a launch control thing, shooting out two-foot flames uh, nice. out their exhaust. Um, saw the uh, new news? Supra. Uh, saw Maserati and a few other ones. It was it was pretty phenomenal seeing some of these guys with their very neat exotics and stuff. I was talking to a friend of mine. He thought it would be nice to have a, a BRZ with the uh, an Alice three swap. I said there was one in town that there you guys, is that you guys have yeah, seen or talked to. Yeah. So oh, there was a McLaren too. <clears throat> that was pretty cool. It was convertible. Nice. Yeah, it was neat. It was a good time. Cool. Looking forward to going to another one. So. What about you? What did you do? Um, Did you do anything different? Woke before? up, played video games, played video games. Oh, worked on your tablet. No, that was that was a pain in the ass for about twelve hour a day. You didn't have to. You didn't have to work on it that long. Uh, <clears throat> you yeah. chose to. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Though. If you listen to the last couple of podcasts, I think that's all he does. Yes, I think I can do a sound button. He doesn't have to move his yeah, lips. Yeah, exactly. I can just go, hey, Mike, what did you do? Play video Play games. Play video games. <clears throat> I played video games. I pooped. I pooped. Oh, I did poop. I played video I games. Yeah. I pooped. I played, I played video games. Yeah. That's what I did. My name's Michael Massey, and I approved this message. <laughs> good. That's good stuff. What we about, can... I mean, you, you have, uh, have any, like, uh, projects you're wanting to work on that you just uh, can make your time go by other than playing video games, or you want to build somebody's computer? There's really not much we can do in building computers right now. So anybody out there that wants to have a computer built, ask Mike. He can help you build a computer. By his corner has all the computer stuff. Yep. Yes. But no, awesome. yeah. Just not really much that you can do. Stuff. It'd be nice to go be able to go to movies. Which then I heard they canceled the... Um, oh, Parkview Field. They were going to do the, um, the uh, all the natural... Oh, not the natural. 
Oh, shoot. The American League. The one with the women playing baseball? Hmm. There's no crying in baseball! There's no crying in... No. Mm -hmm. He's giving me the confused look like what the fuck movie you're talking about. The uh, glasses are... Yes, I did help Rick with the doorbell. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. And you just forget about Rick all the time. I know. Yes, yes, I helped Rick with the doorbell. Took me a matter of two seconds. So, uh, Rick, how good was his service? Yeah, how was his did service? Did he uh, ring your door really well? Did he push your button? Did he uh, insert his plug in the way that it needed for your ring doorbell? Did he torque down those screws? Did he lube up before torquing those screws? Just curious. Did you get it straight or at an angle? Curved. That would be a weird position. But, hey, you'll have that. If you need a ring doorbell system, talk to this guy. He could hook you up and get it all set up, security systems and all. Yep. From a 1 to 5, he'll give you a 3. Yay. There's a volume button. On your uh, headset, there's a scrolly wheel. What happened? Nobody liked the post. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's well, awesome! Thank you for liking the thank post. Thank you for liking the post and Mom uh, said behave. the shit out of. Uh, I'm supposed to behave, oh. but Matt started it. <laughs> he was good. You were did a good job. Um, Mom was asking what we had for dinner. Uh, for dinner we had pizza. Pizza contributions of Mike. Yep. And breadsticks, so, the bakery style. None of that garlic cheese bullshit that they have now these days. So like Matt and Allie make a meal from scratch. Yep. Jason and Betty make a meal from scratch. This guy gets pre-made meals at Walmart or Meyer, and then orders pizza. I know how to cook. No, he doesn't. I get off at 6.30. You oh. think I'm going to have time to get in here and make food? <laughs> Before 8 o'clock, not going to fucking happen. Boom! F word. He owes money in the pot. Yep. All right, so I how chilled much, out. How much money is it? A dollar? I think it's like a dollar. It's a dollar for the dollar. Yep. Cool. Cool. What we should do is put a tally board behind us, a little ticker bark for every time he does it. The F word board? Yep. The F word board. Yeah. F word board. <clears throat> See, that's 10 times fast. F word board. Time's 10. All right, so what'd you do? Other than, uh, of course, mess with this. Other than dorking around, effing around. Yeah, this. Um, today was a nice day to forget, but uh, it was a good day. Oh. Um, the weekend was good. I had my 25 high school reunion on Saturday. It was fun. A big shout out to my buddy Mark Dunkel, who uh, organized that whole thing. Um, he's a classmate. And it was fun seeing old people. Nine people from ninety-two people in the class. <laughs> Thanks, COVID. Um, <clears throat> That's about as many people we had in ours. I saw where you went. Well, to I the saw pan nine people. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's all that showed up. I saw you. We have went to the Panther Run. That's uh, awesome. I didn't go. Doing. I just I saw it in yeah. the parking lot. We were waiting for. We created that. I in ninety-eight. <clears throat> ninety-eight. I think. I don't think you guys created it. I think it was it was created in my senior year, my freshman okay. year. Because remember a guy, remember Keller or what was his name? Miller. Miller. No, before Miller. Miller. You had Miller. You had Lutz before that, and then the guy before that. What the hell was his name? Keller. Keller. Know. Hello, Keller. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember his name. I don't. I, I, draw, I draw a blank every time I think of, of this guy's name, whoever that cross Cause, country coach. Because when he I was, was in only there for was my freshman there, year, and then in my sophomore year, we got Lutz, and I had Lutz for the rest of the season. Uh, we and had then Lutz you guys for one year. got the other guy. We had Lutz, Lutz for one year. <clears throat> we had Lutz. Then we had but I think. I think Lutz created the Panther Run my sophomore year. I think was it? it was either Lutz or the guy before. It might have been Lutz because they were trying to get an invitational for Prairie Heights. Mm -hmm. And we designed that course yeah. and it. Everybody ran loves the it. Woods. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like. Still, so one of the only few courses you can actually run through an entire woods for. The whole woods. Like yeah. good and hills. Five minutes. Hills everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you, you pretty jump much put the whole course, mud, 3.1 miles, 
in one course without actually looping each other. Yep. Yeah, that was fun. Never had one loop. <clears throat> no, it was a good weekend with that. And then, um, I don't know, I just kind of was trying to really, I, I, every, I was trying to really not do a lot this week to the podcast. Um, we, we added one more thing, a, a, another camera for when Mike does his rant. But um, I don't know, it was just kind of like, just kind of a chill out time, but it was fun. Hey, guys. How are y'all doing? How's it going, Denny? Hi, Denny. How are you? How was your day, Denny? Did you have a good day, Denny? Denny Daniels. How's your hand doing, Danny? Denny? Yeah, Denny. Did How's... you find another saw? Did you find another saw? <laughs> no. <it's... laughs> How's it going, Denny? <laughs> he, he was trying no, to... No, he get... still has it. <clears throat> yeah, he still has it. No, he still has it. It's the... <clears throat> But uh, yeah, Let's other than that, this. <clears throat> How's it going, Diddy? Uh, it, it's been a it's been a decent week. Work's been pretty easy. Hey, Brian Bollinger! What's up, Brian? How you doing? Hey, you're supposed to be joining us in seven days to die, buddy. Yeah, where you been? Yeah, where you been, dude? You left yeah. us hanging, man. Yeah, I did see you though. I stalked you and I saw you playing that video game in Steam, and you didn't invite us. What is What's up, up Brittany? <clears throat> There's Brittany. Who's Brittany? You used to be a co-worker yo. at my other store. Okay. Well, my homie. She shoots photos. I thought, I thought it was Brittany she in the video game. She does photography. I thought it was Brittany in the Seven Days of Dying. <clears throat> no, not that Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just upgraded to version 9, 19 last week. It's fun. The new yeah. version's great. And yeah, our man. server is rock solid. It is. Yep. We have a very, uh, and you should come and see the base we're making right now. It's, it's a lot better than this podcast, sir. Yeah. <laughs> that server was doing a lot better than the beginning of the show, <laughs> let me tell you. Yes. <clears throat> but uh, sooner yeah. or later, hopefully, we'll get a 50 count player count down the road. Like once we get. So if you like killing zombies, come join us on Seven Days to Die server. Yeah, it's fun yeah. to have that. I mean, I think eventually we should add 10 more so we can get 20 or so. In I'm pretty there, sure we're not. the only podcast that has their own personal server for killing zombies. Yeah, I don't know of too many uh, people that are promoting that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I mean, seven days to die when you get on Twitch and look at what they're doing. They got like 1,200 people actually oh. streaming the game. Dead Matter. We tried that out. <clears throat> we did try Dead Matter. That's a new game coming out. New game coming out. <clears throat> it's okay for right now in single player. I fell through the earth a couple times and I got on a golf cart, jumped off the golf cart, and the next thing you know, I'm flying in the air doing <laughs> these little things. <laughs> and I crashed and it came back up and crashed. And then when I ejected myself, yeah, I died. Well, <laughs> and he's forgetting to like, mention... Dead Matter is a closed alpha, so yes. like, we have it's a watermark alpha. that pops up on our alpha. screen. <clears throat> closed alpha. I, I thought it was not alpha. I thought it was just a... No, it's closed, closed alpha right now. They had, they had done a pretest before that. And Are you even allowed to talk okay. about the game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, can talk, you can't stream it. We can't it. stream it. You can't stream it. Because they don't want, <clears throat> you, they don't want people streaming it, and then, and then it, when people actually see the game... As it being like like a junky stream, they're yeah, gonna be like, they, they I, mean, guys, I don't want to play that. Yeah, you guys get your names put in the credit, right? So yes. uh, the money that we paid, and any of it, I think you can go to Dead Matters website and, and contribute and be a part of this. Uh, yep. So they have uh, you get two closed alpha keys, and then when closed, when this closed session's done and it's opened up, uh, you get two more keys for the new game, and in the credits, we'll have our names actually listed as. You know, people that back the game, which is, I don't know, yep. that's pretty cool. That's pretty I hope cool. the game kicks off. We actually had our real name put in there. Yes. So I made sure I put my real name. I didn't want to put my, my, the gamer my, name. My gamer yeah. Name. I'd rather have my real name because then everybody like, oh, the, the, you. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually think I put my middle initial, I think. <clears throat> well, I did Ryan. I did uh, Jason I and Ryan Massey. So oh, you didn't, <clears throat> put, you didn't put your gamer name, Man Cake, on there? Yeah, Man you cake. Man Cake. I should change my game tag to that man cake. <laughs> you know how many people will ask you? Oh god! Hey, you All know right, what? I'm gonna do that. Some of my actual, if you were on one like a Call of Duty server back when it actually could have your own damn servers, now you can't. My name it was offensive. <clears throat> I actually had to email the guy and say, "This is not offensive. Look." And send it in as a creation. It's like here it is. Our last name. Sometimes you can't even spell yeah, you that. Can't out. Even It'll come it. up and say it's a bad word. And Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, or in uh, Call of Duty Warzone, you can't even make a class called Assault 
because Activision makes assault Salt. a bad word. Yep. I got mine spelled backwards. <laughs> I think Call of Duty needs to go back to where you can do servers. Yeah, servers. Yes. Independent servers. People are independent really, really servers. creative. And they so love the they independent out. servers, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Awesome. I think the the main reason why they got away from so much of uh, the the main server base is because they went and pushed heavy towards the console side, and consoles can't have their own server. They can't okay. can't do their own thing. And so there was a time. In, there's a YouTube video of the the history of Call of Duty, and they basically um, there was a a season there where they basically like dropped co- like PC players. They put all their focus in the console. Yes, side. it was. Three, five. three or two? Uh, it was, it was like in the four and five range. Because mm, I did four, we did four. I know, but they, they didn't drop it completely. I mean, like they just kind of like they hit console first, and then oh. they were like here's PC, and then it was, oh. it was interesting to hear that. So, but um, yeah. <clears throat> all right, well, let's do, uh, yeah. let's do some thanks. Look. It looks like we got a couple new thanks up there we should do, and. Um, Kind of give a reminder of what we're doing with our likes and follows. And so it <clears throat> looks like Brittany has liked the stream. We appreciate that, Brittany. Go ahead. Looks like we got some that were prior, but I think that was those were, yeah, seven those days. were before, yeah. yeah. Bryce, so we got Bryce. That is one of our huge followers. It's yep. like a founder follow, follower right there. Yep, he's been there for a while. Uh, Sam Crover. You guys went to high school with Sam. Sam Crowe. He's in the. Is he in the Navy or Air Force? That was. Uh, no, that's Joey Gar. Joey Gar. Joey Sam Crover works. Sam Crover. That's right. Last I time I Crover heard, Sam, he was working at. He was at Harold Chevrolet. Now he's yeah. Now he's a car dealership. Nice. Yep. All right, you gonna give us a free car for the show? That'd be better. <laughs> and then Brian liked and followed, followed. the page. Yes. You know what? Appreciate you, if Brian. we get a thousand likes, maybe um, maybe Sam uh, can give us. Maybe can we can do it. Yeah, a thousand if likes do don't equal a car deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not does. thinking it's going to work that way. I think it yeah. does. <clears throat> we can donate a car. Though. Well, you could go buy a car. And so you could donate. And get a we're up to 155 now. Yeah, so I think. Uh, yeah, so that'd be 155. Brian would be our 155 mark, and our goal is when we hit 500, 500. followers on the page, yep. we're going to give away a fifty dollar gift card. Yep. Yeah, I didn't mess it up that time. I know. I know. Good job. I was practicing like all day today Were you? at work. While you're on the shitter. No. Only at work. Okay. I don't poop at work. You don't poop at work? Kidding. That's where I Are work. Are you like a... Uh, <clears throat> shoot, what's the guy's name? Moving on. Yeah, we're not getting on that topic. <clears throat> Pie. So thank you everybody so that follows name. and likes the Shipwreck. page. And the more times we can get uh, up to that 500 mark, the faster we will get to the giveaway. Um, and then we do a thing where we have topics that we'll talk about. And as we're talking, and if you have any questions or something that you would like to know about us, post it in the comments, and we'll keep an eye on it. And then after we get done talking about our topics, directly after that, we do question and answers with you guys, and then uh, we'll uh, go from there. So you were talking about on Messenger, because we have our page we use, so we can chat. You were wanting to talk about the Things fact we're that like we're just not the- experts in any field. <clears throat> ah, good point. So I was making, um, I've heard a lot of different podcasters, they kind of open up their scene and, and any time that they're talking about topics that come up, they're like, look, we're just average Joes, we're not professionals, we're not scientists, we're not doctors, but we find these topics fairly interesting, worth sharing with you guys. And generally, most of our topics, we're going to try to stay away from political BS. Every once in a while, we might talk about a current event that might go into that, but this Maybe local affairs. <clears throat> we're not going to get down no road of just doing left and right brow beating and all that. We're, yeah. we're not, I'm not interested in it. I know you guys aren't. The goal is positive vibes, have fun, find some fun topics to talk about, chill with you guys, try to do it for an hour, and then jet out. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're not professionals by any means. And anything we read completely could be fake news. Because nowadays everything is fake news. <laughs> Every time I see True. something post, it doesn't matter where now. It's fake. It is. And then it becomes real, and then it's like, no, it was really fake. <laughs> but, uh, all right, man. I think we're ready for topics. Topics! We should get our intro that does that. Topics! Yeah. Yeah, do it like that. What do you I think? like that. Yeah. If we can get it actually to If work. I can get the buttons to work. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't even get that. If we can get at the word. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, topic number one Fort Wayne Southeast Side Rebuild. Um, Fort Wayne leaders are working to rebuild the south side of the city. Um, they're in the process of getting grants, uh, yes. low interest rates uh, for enticing real estate investors, education, and small businesses to come into that side of Fort Wayne to help start developing it. Um, it's something they've been working on since 2007, and they just did an update now where they're actually going to roll through with it now. Um, I saw see Southeast Side needs some love. And well, he, Four Way Metals is out there with their James project, so correct. that's part of that yeah. uh, amb ambitiousness that that's going on within our company. Um, they, uh, yeah, Southeast Side definitely has a lot of potential, and there's um, there's a minister out there. Where's Four Way Metals? Well, we're everywhere. Out airport, <coughs> which is the West Side? <coughs> South. Yeah. But south. southeast is Southgate Mall. Southgate Mall. Yeah, I know. I know where southeast is, but you said Fort Wayne Metals. Yes, we bought a building. And out it kind of threw me off because, like, like we, bought, we bought a building out that's there towards south more than southeast. No, the about. build. No, okay. Deep breath, Jason. But if you build a building, he's your out brother. There. You don't want to. So build we're him. the topic is about the southeast side of Fort Wayne. Yes. Fort Wayne Metals home office is in the south side down by the airport. By the airport. Yes. We're no top, the topic is Fort Wayne Metals has property now on the southeast side to help okay. develop the area okay, yeah. so people that live in that Sorry. area can be able to have a job over there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. On the same page. Okay. More less than you. Where are you? I was drinking my water. So your ears closed when you drink? Yes. Hmm. My wife has that sometimes, I think. Does your wife have that? Or husband, if you're watching? If you're or selective hearing, probably, too. Or you could be female, and it's your husband, and, she, and it's a she. I don't know. But uh, does your better half have that responsibility yeah, of drinking? And your might, this might cover everything. But moving on to the next topic you got. But that's cool. I mean, that's nice. It is. It's uh, nice. If we can get Southeast going, if we can get Electric Works going. Yep. That's huge. That's all right there. We're talking about making Fort Wayne an epicenter for money. Yes. Which Southeast leads, has been actually been working on it anyway. Before. Which leads me to my next topic. Oh, that was pretty cool. <clears throat> Fort Wayne International Airport is working to break ground on a $47.3 million West Terminal expansion. Jeez, yes. wow, that's some money. Um, they're looking to open this up <clears throat> in spring of 2021. Okay, um, hold on. 2021? Yes. Yeah. Spring? Have you seen the road project that they've done out the airport? Yes. They started that two years ago. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, but if they're not <laughs> rushing to get it done. Okay. 2023. Um, mark my words today. Big thing. <laughs> big thing. Um, no taxes. No new taxes are going to be implemented for any citizen. Um, and the reason they've done this is because they did some kind of bond um, to allow a, if I'm not mistaken, it was $27 million that they did this bond. So then they were able to pull that out. Uh, they did some grants, and the airport itself is helping with uh, funds as well to make this happen. Um, this is going to allow larger airplanes to be able to come in uh, oh, yeah. to the airport, and they're yeah. making larger terminals because of the pandemic that's <clears throat> currently going on. They're wanting to make sure there's that proper spacing. Um, so that's going to be the future is larger terminals, larger airplanes coming in, which then opens it up to international. I mean, we like, don't have to go to like 747s Chicago that could be kept rolling in here. Um, well, it will be a true international airport. Yeah. <coughs> and then that will allow all eight, it'll allow eight terminals to be running at one time. So. I mean, Fort Wayne's a, is a, like I said, it's, it's a, a hub. It's a they're hub almost, for a lot of traffic from Detroit, pretty far Illinois, Illinois well, I mean, got Chicago. When I was in the Cleveland, military, Indy. when I left for uh, Georgia, I went from Fort Wayne International Airport to Chicago <coughs> and then picked up a flight down to Indy. And then from Indy went straight that direction. So, um, do a connecting place. I was just happening to see a comment there. It was kind of interesting. Is uh, maybe the larger airports is because we're making room for larger people? That could be a possibility. <laughs> and there, there is actually talks about that. Actually, roller coasters actually making the rides for larger people now. Just stop eating. Eat healthy. Yeah. You don't have to be a fat ass. There was, there was a talk about it. What was it? It'd be good. Anyways, that's cool. So, I mean, yeah. That's exciting. 
So we've got this monitor down here so we can see our talking points when we do yep. our topics, which is really nice. I like it. <clears throat> Did that help? Yeah, that works. We're trying great. to get away from doing this where we're like, eh, and then looking at you, and then, eh. So we're trying to get it to where we're kind of. I like where I can glance down to it and boom, right there, and I can yep. see these beautiful and faces. We have all the comments. You see beautiful faces. I can actually see the comments pretty yeah. decent, too, which oh. is nice. Beautiful <clears throat> faces, man. You can't see all that beautiful audience out there? I see them. I see them in their underwear watching it with us. Yes. Drinking Sweet. whiskey. I know Brian Ballinger's got his underwear on right now. He does. He's drinking his mustache. Some whiskey. Got his pipe in the corner of his mouth. With his skin dogs. Sam Crover. Or hairless. You think Sam Crover's sitting here watching? Yeah. He is watching. <clears throat> oh, he already commented. In his underwear. In his oh, underwear. in his underwear? I don't oh. know. Sam, you sitting there watching this in your Daddy. underwear? Give us a. Seconds later. Let us know. Yeah, it's 13 minutes later. <clears throat> All right, well, it looks like Jason's up for the next topic. 13 seconds later. When she hits the button. All right. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about COVID, and it's going to be short and sweet. Ooh, wait, hold on, he's naked. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Whoa. Ah. All right, let me make Beer is here. great. I know. Whoa. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, COVID-19, just a real quick thing. Um, it's kind of a hot topic that has been trending the past few days, and there is a lot of controversy well, behind it. Like a couple days? Okay, so the 27th to the now is a few days. Can I say a few? No. It's been a hot topic ever since <clears throat> March. No, the hottest topic. There's a hotter topic than just March. Hey, didn't we just say that we're not professionals? So why are you coming across? Exactly. Thing? Everything. You're fake semantics. news professional. Okay. Yes. Good. <clears throat> hey, yeah. If you need fake news, follow his Facebook profile. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, so last week, um, a few days ago, 6% was like a big thing being tweeted around and talked about because of well, COVID's only killed 6% of the people. And it's not completely accurate. And what I've read and understand and fully went to many different sources, and what I understand and what I see here is that <clears throat> those cases are, that 6% is what's written on their death certificate. So COVID was the only thing that they found that entitled them passing away, which is really sad. It's not cool. Out of 180,000 people that have passed, 6% of those had no other attributes that have been called out or, 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 or sicknesses called out for their death. So are we talking death. nationwide or are we just <clears throat> talking locally? In America. In America. In America, in America okay. it's like 180 plus thousand people have died in the, in the column of COVID. So Out imagine, so, so imagine, insane. imagine. Like 180,000 people. Hold on, people. hold on. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it for you. Okay. You have a column and that column is car accidents, by alcohol. Okay. Okay. They're in this full column. Then 6% died from actually drinking and driving. Okay. They had alcohol in their system and they were driving. The other 94% died from another drunken alcoholic or alcohol was in the middle of the street and they slipped and crashed into a tree. Something was tied to it, but it was not the reason it was the, the main reason. There was other altercations that made that situation happen. So 100, over 180,000 deaths with COVID tied to it, 6% of those cases, they don't have any other name listed other than COVID for their death. There's a little bit of good sight to that because now you're looking at 6% of 80, 180,000 is like 9,000 cases that you could fine tune. There's 1,500. No. 80, 180,000, a little over 9,000 cases you could fine tune and figure out that there was no other thing to alter with COVID what really was going on there. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting. Um, the other thing that was um, to really put <clears throat> in some perspective there, um, we're all getting touched by it, like we're all getting bothered by it. COVID. And it's really kind of frustrating because we all don't know what the hell to do yeah, like i mean you don't when it first gets kicked off you're like don't do this don't do that and then you got people on the left and the right making their big world storm you know you got a political election coming in 
So let's use that as a, as a way to move people left or right. No way. They don't do that. No. Come on. So, so it's very frustrating, too. Is it is. People saw, oh, it's 6%. So the CDC is a bunch of liars on 180,000. But it's only 6 There wasn't 180,000. There wasn't 180,000 deaths. There was only 9,000 deaths. So everybody was miscuing that. So then Twitter and Facebook's like ripping all these posts off. They're like, no, that's not accurate. The accurate information when you go to CDC and you start reading into it is they don't, they don't have any other name tied to their death certificate other than COVID. Huh. Everything else that's going on, it's not good for them. Like but if, if you got any other issue going on with you, COVID isn't helping you. And at the end, it'll have... You have a heart attack, you have COVID, you had pneumonia, like you'll have, your death certificate's going to have two or three things. And generally a normal person when they die, they have one or two things already written down. Either they had diabetes and they died of natural causes or, you know, so like there's those things. That they had AIDS and they, and they died by the common flu. Exactly. So you have these things that you have to just really digest when you see data out there. Just don't take it and go, oh my God, you're going to have to read because today's Today's news is a lot worse than it was 2016. 2020 news, it's not good, man. It's not, I mean, people are losing their mind over and you, a lot of things. And you know the reason of this whole <laughs> thing, is why it news media, no, it's not fake. Yeah. Why news media is allowed to do their stupid stuff that they're allowed to do? Well, it's interesting. No. When, if you go back when President Obama was president, a lot of that stuff wasn't allowed. The first thing that he did before he left was he signed a bill that allowed the news media to do whatever they want. Hmm. I have to read that. Because they were punished <clears throat> I want to for fake that. news. I want to dig into that more. They were actually being punished hey. for fake news. It's a good topic he for next actually, week. He, he put a bill in before <clears throat> he left that he allowed for CNN, Fox News, CBS, ABC, NBC, they can bring up a topic and not be 100% true. And be. What's up? Yep, yeah. that's your topic for next I could. week. You're gonna, I will bring that up next week. Yep, you will dig yep. into that. I will dig in it for you guys. It's but important. I think it's important because it's, this certainly opened yeah. up a couple of things that I wanted to point out too. And I didn't bring my tablet up. I had to actually print it off a couple of things too. But um, how they how they're tracking some of this fake stuff is they're using AI software and scanning everywhere. All this stuff. There's a one company. That's all they do is they have an AI program that goes through and reads everything. That's pretty. AI is being used in so many different sophisticated ways. It's it's uh, eventually we're all going to be computers and we're going to get to sit in our chair and not worry about anything. Our brain will just sit in a little cup and we'll just do whatever the, we want. The and one AI thing, will just take care of us. The one thing that I actually think it's kind of interesting is that that six percent. <laughs> that we actually we classified as the actually death of COVID, are in other countries have a smaller amount, which is about six percent, would have been what they have right now because they were talking about there's uh, three countries only on their certificate. There's yes, one hundred eighty thousand people yes. still died of COVID. Yes, but they're not saying they're not saying ninety four percent didn't die of COVID. One hundred eighty thousand people still died, and no longer with their family, no longer with yeah, I know, taking care of their I know kids, that, but. But they died from something else. COVID didn't help. COVID didn't help, no. But they were dying. If they didn't have COVID, they'd they were probably dying. still be alive, maybe. I don't know. So that's, that's where you have to take that data and get a little more understanding and take a little more... Well, they uh, were talking about where people were bringing up that people would get in a car accident, get a broken leg, correct. go to the hospital. Yep. They die from infection. You know, an infection, infection from their leg. But then when they do the autopsy or, did they, or when they did the test, there, could be possible cases. there was COVID. And, I, we, and they immediately said, well, that's a COVID case. He didn't die by the, um, the but infection from the lake. But that's speculation from back in March, April, and May. And the very latest thing since August 27 <laughs> is that they've looked at their numbers and they've dialed it down and said 6% of the 180,000 cases is a death certificate saying covid so that guy that had a broken leg probably says now you know, he had a leg that was amputated and he didn't make it through it and he had diabetes. Like, who knows? I know. And that's why I'm... I'd, and COVID happened to be in his system and it didn't help. And that's why I'm stating as that, is that 6%, would that be similar to what the other countries are stating? I don't know about that. 
But because I, that's I, what a lot of people were talking about was that how is the United States a larger amount? Because we're a bigger country. That we're over, we don't compared listen. to being overseas. We don't want to listen. Because overseas, they were doing the, they okay. were doing the same thing. Let's let's do a diagram for you. America, hey, don't do this. Fuck you. That's a, that, in the I know. I'm saying that's a, that's America. America doesn't want to be told how to do anything, whether you're left or right. They don't care. They're gonna do what they want. This yeah. country was founded on doing what you want to do. Have your own business. Have your own freedom. And other countries, they're based around that like dictatorship rule or they're based on uh in those countries you get shot for leaving your house yeah i mean they, they're just there's a reason why other countries have different tolls than we do we're just a bigger open well, we I like to drive big vehicles we like to just we live big and I we take don't that like back. To you just come to fort wayne and you'll get shot out in the streets <laughs> i mean it's almost on a daily daily on only on one street pontiac <laughs> no Every time I look on, on the Pontiac. ring, it's, it's not like, just Pontiac. Every time I look on ring, it shows Pontiac, Pontiac and Dude, Oxford. Five shots. Pontiac Between Pontiac. your house and my house, it is a complete war zone <laughs> for three or four miles of every street. Pretty much. So I have one other thing real quick I, uh, to tie in to finish up with COVID. Was um, my thought with COVID <laughs> is eventually when we do get past politics, and when the vaccine kind of comes around, we're going to treat COVID, which is shut down the U.S. economy completely, shut down the world economy in a lot of areas, too. And we're going to treat it like AIDS. Uh, some statistics from 2017. Um, almost 900,000 people died from AIDS. But yearly. You don't die from AIDS. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> AIDS killed somebody at 900,000 mark. I'm just saying you don't They're, die. The, the category that. is that death is suicide. Six hundred and seventy thousand people killed themselves yearly. Supposedly. Are you gonna you gonna do this? You're gonna do this right now? How, how can you not die from AIDS? <laughs> you don't die from AIDS. You die from the common cold, or you get um, or you get something else. AIDS does not kill you. It kills your immune system. And then you die from the bacteria or a okay. another. But the virus. listings that you have, <clears throat> let's go with another one. Homicide. Um, Ninety-two thousand people yearly die from a homicide. Which that number is probably higher this year. Yeah, tw yeah, twenty-seven. Yeah, definitely. Twenty twenty has been the been the bad one between suicide and homicide. And then alcoholic uh, alcohol disorder. That's There's another one that touches. <clears throat> that's a hundred and. 163,000 people yearly die. These are numbers I pulled from CDC. How many? 163,000 yearly from alcohol disorder. And that's compared, to, from what I've seen, the comparison 165,000 get the cold in the year. Yep. So, so I think eventually we don't, we don't have, like we're not out there shutting economies down for any of these, these situations that people, these, these uh, categories of people die from and i think eventually covid is going to be in that realm where we just sit back and go oh there was a hundred thousand people died this year from covid and what we're going to move pull, on and what do you mean pull what, the flu <clears throat> because i wanted to find things that were was that similar to another disease i wanted to find things so that other than eight uh, flu is a common like there's so many strands of flu right aids is aids suicide is suicide homicide is homicide Alcohol. Alcohol is a legal drug you can go and you can have a disorder with. Cigarettes. That's like half a million, half a million people die a year from lung cancer. From lung cancer. Oh, but you cigarettes. don't get, but you don't, hold on. And Sorry. That's a legal drug. We're not know. saying that you get cancer for smoking cigarettes. Just to let you know. I'm just trying to put. Because you don't want to push that button on certain people. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to kind of put it into a bigger scope that oh, yeah, in a few months from now, we're going to be looking at COVID and going, well, that sucks to be that person. I wish it wouldn't have happened. Or our family member were like, well, it's going to be the same oh thing. My God. It's going to be like what would so, happen with the Black Plague when it was here. Like when every they one of these shut situations, down the whole country. When, when AIDS came into effect, it's going to be like it, it was a world situation and the world went together and did things. And now, how often are we talking about AIDS? AIDS is still killing people. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, no, people, still almost people. a million a year. They're still trying to find medications not, for it, too. We're not. I thought we're they not, already found cures for that. No. Certain types of there's AIDS. certain 
things I it's, think they're fine. The, what, that, what's but. hurting the most is that AIDS is that your partner it could be a total douche and not tell you that you have AIDS or that he has AIDS and then you have a baby, guess what? Now your baby has AIDS and that person doesn't know they had AIDS and then it gets passed and passed and passed. Where if you just have AIDS, you just gotta straight up and say, Hey, I have AIDS. They but do, they do have it. they do have uh, I think a medicine that someone that does have it you can be with another person there yes. there is uh, there's there, a bunch of there's them. some stuff out there I'm not an, I'm not a professional at AIDS I just wanted to, to do a compa- I didn't want to go yeah. down the the deep of the weeds of yeah. of what those are but this the numbers in general Swine I think food. eventually we're gonna turn that around and go they're they're like we do with it influenza is awesome. so yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> my last topic is. There is a, a flyer that I will post later today. Um, the Early Childhood Alliance is a very awesome organization here in downtown that offers daycare and a bunch of other fantastic programs in their business. My wife works there. She really enjoys it a lot. But our local, comp- our local restaurant, Shigs and Pit here, off of Maplecrest, on the 18th, I think it was, they are donating... 15% of the bill that you, when you order, will go to Early Childhood Alliance. That's cool. That's really cool. So I thought paying, that was a... Uh, so we're paying on um, Betty's salary. Uh, it, it's going to ECA for programs, yeah. okay? Gosh, gotta be, a, gotta be a jerk. But no, I just... Uh, I'll, so I'll make sure that I get the flyer out there so you can find it. They say, you know, bring this flyer and show it, at your, show it at your bill, and then... Um, and then you can get, uh, they'll take that 15% of your bill and donate it to the ECA. A couple of shigs and pit. Um, did you know they put one out there on uh, 14? They're building a new one. I thought they already had one out there. Well, there's only two. No, yeah, we were just driving through. They, they got one up north. Over the weekend. Up Brand there by. Brand new. On the right-hand side. There's only, I only know a tool. There's one up there by <clears throat> St. Joe-ish. Maple Crest. The Maple Crest. And then, and then you have the one, the one right here. here by us. And that's it. And then they're about to build. They're in the process. So they've got walls up, roof. Already got signs starting to go up. Chigs and Pit is going up by uh, right off of 14. Nice. So, yeah. That's cool, though. I'm glad that they're getting involved with thirdly trial and uh, involvement. So, yeah. pretty. Yeah, the uh, 915, not 918. September 15th. Yeah, that's what I said. Nine fifteen twenty. On the bottom of your thing. I heard you say something, but it was mumbled, so I didn't. I didn't hear it. I, so. I just said nine, it softly. Nine, nine fifteen. 15. What day is that? That would be a Tuesday or a Wednesday, because the nine nineteen. Eleventh. Eleventh is on a Friday. Nine nineteen is our. Eleventh is, is a Friday. Fifteenth is a Tuesday. <laughs> Sam Tuesday. says, "What we need is another war. We do have a war. It's called COVID." Yeah. <laughs> Wars ruin economies and help economies. Hey, we'll, we'll just go against Russia. No, we don't need to do that. Because after no. November, I'm sure they're going to probably get brought up that it was China or Russia. Moving on to another topic. Next yeah. topic. All right, so the random thoughts for me is, oh, no. Wow. Man, I'm, I I'm really, really early, wasn't you I? Questions That's because I have it written down there. Mm-hmm. So Mike's got his topic. What we got? Mike's got a topic. Remember the topic. Oh, yeah, that's right. So my topic, which we the whole computer restarted, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to squint here, but we're going to do it. Um, here, do this. Can we steal the mouse? For a can we steal the mouse? Yeah. Sorry, the uh, whole everything turned. I want to be able to read. Here, old man, can you read that? Yes, I'm going to read that. All right. Sorry, I got more words you than you guys back. did. You so, all right. So my topic is basically um, some food for thoughts. Uh, the United States and the global leader in the in food waste, with America discarding nearly 40 million tons of food every year. 40 million tons. 40 million tons. <laughs> so that basically rest- that would be... Is that including restaurants or just Americans? That's everybody. That's everybody. the whole entire nation that's going into the landfill. 40 million tons. So that's literally what? About, if one ton is one car, right? Like One, one ton is 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. That's not one car. That's half of a car. Half a car? Or what, a car is two tons then? Well, generally a car is about 3,000 to 4,000 pounds. Okay. Unless you're buying an economy so car. So three ton car. I mean, an economy car, like 
My Subaru. Yeah. Size 2500. So there's basically a lot of cars. Size of a Clydesdale. You made a very good point. Yeah. $2,000. So that's basically a lot of horses that we're throwing away. Um, so that's a, that's that would 80, be food. Eighty like, billion a pounds of, of food. food. I don't know. That's eighty billion pounds of food and <laughs> uh, quotas to more than one hundred and sixty-one billion. Uh, approximately two hundred and nineteen pounds of waste per person, and thirty to forty percent. Um, we got roughly around two hundred nineteen pounds of uh, waste. Per person uh, of of <clears throat> of the used food supply, hmm. uh, which most of the food is sent to landfills, which I already said, food is sing, uh, which is the largest component <clears throat> taking of space inside the U.S. landfills. In fact, it makes up twenty two percent of the solid waste that goes in the landfill. Twenty two percent, yes, food. And of all the products, it's twenty two twenty two percent is actually food. I'm thinking that makes for a nice, I mean, like, if you're working in the landfill, I mean. If you're hungry? 20, 22% of that product out there you could eat. I really wanted to. Twinkies are out there. I think nobody's throwing away Twinkies, Mike. Why not? People are throwing broccoli, <laughs> cauliflower, carrots. Which, which most of They're throwing food. away, like, food that can't get him to eat it again. It's yeah. in the trash. They're not throwing away Twinkies. Ho-hos. Doritos uh -huh. is not being thrown away. Yeah, true. true. That, that stuff's living in somebody's body. Probably. Yeah. So the average American family for uh, four throws $1,600 a year of produce. $1,600 a year of a family of four. So you can imagine that total goes up. So about $100, go lower. $100 a month yeah. in produce. Um, some countries around the world are ahead of America. What comes, uh, when it comes to ma uh, managing food waste, France, for example, requires restaurants to donate food to um, the risk for being thrown away, uh, which is kind of nice. You know, that's what France is doing. Mm -hmm. um, out, but uh, basically, cities in Sweden use food waste to create fuel to power public uh, bus transits. So they use food. Nice. So that's kind of nice. Uh, Denmark, uh, you can use an <clears throat> app to find restaurants and bakeries that are about to close, purchase the, re uh, uh, the remaining food at a fraction of cost. Unfortunately, that's not here in the United States because uh, money, money makes money. No, and lawsuits. Lawsuits. That lawsuits. Too. That too. I'll give you an example to interject real quick. So when I worked at the Coliseum, uh, they, the food group there could not give away food or they could not throw the food away yes they had to go in a burn thing that we have they actually had to get a burn unit burn the stuff up because homeless people would go to the trash cans and get the Eat food it, and then get and then get a possible lawsuit well that's a big building it could take on that loss so yeah. yeah that's one of the reasons why a lot of these places own. can't do that can you click on my file I can scroll down. Oh, oh, oh I, I thought I had more. All right, so then uh, around around the world, so basically, my reason why I'm talking about the waste part. So basically, around the world, there's 821 million people do not have enough food. They need to live in an active, healthy life. So once every nine people goes to bed hungry each uh, each night, including 20 million people currently at risk. Of uh, famine in the South Sudan, Sudan, uh, Sudan yep, uh, Somalia, Somalia, Yemen, Yemen, and Nigeria. That was a, a, a thing that's from May eighth of twenty twenty. So imagine, so you have eight hundred twenty one million people that are basically starving, and we're throwing, which I can't go. I have to scroll back up again. What was the total? Was again? So we have. 40 million tons of food going in the trash, and we have 820 million people that are starving. So, I'm not going to try to squash in your what you're talking crazy. about here, but why has it become the United States' problem for all these other countries for getting food when the majority of the names you just named off are countries that are 
the leaders of these countries know, are taking the all the food away from these people. I would just bring up a topic. I, just, I know. I'm not trying to squash. I'm just simply saying when we were talking about how the United States is, in some aspect, they're saying that they're selfish and they're throwing their own food away. But then you've got these countries. But that's that around the leaders. World. No, no, these are world totals that he's giving. The 821 is a world. And then no. the, other, the other 20 million people that are famine are the other countries. Um, okay. So 20 um, million off of the 821, so you have 811 million people around the world correct. that are starving. I but, know, but what I'm saying, though, is we're talking about the United, United States. The United States is the global leader in global food waste. Global leader of food yes. waste. But then when we donate food to these other countries... It doesn't go to the people that it needs to go well, to. Yeah. It goes to... If you're talking about the 20 million from those other countries, yeah. yeah. But the other parts of the country that are starving, <laughs> we throw 40 million tons of food away. That, yeah. That's a lot of money. You know, it's interesting that Ryan's school, because he's a, he, goes to a community, he goes to the Fort Wayne Community School, and they give him a, a, a breakfast, a snack, and then a lunch, and then he has another snack. Like he, he's got like three meals a day. Oh, I know. Um, and right before he leaves, they give him two more meals. They give him a breakfast for the next day and a dinner. And the first day, he was like, uh, okay, and he brought it home. And then the second day, no, okay, second day he got it, and he's, he's on this hybrid system, so he's only going like twice a week. On the second day, he got it again, he was kind of like, <clears throat> didn't really say anything to us. He was like, hey, if you want that, you can have it. I really don't want it. But then the third day they were going to do it, he told them, he's like, my family feeds me. I give it to somebody that needs to eat. That's awesome. So like, he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't need it to come home. We, we're fine. Give it to somebody else. Which, you know, he did that all on his own. He made his own decision with that. So That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So he's then have it sit in the fridge and go bad. Sit in the fridge and go bad and throw it away. Somebody else can get something some benefit out of it yeah, yeah. Um, and the stuff they're putting in there is not cheap food I mean it really is um, I mean it's got some preservatives and stuff like that in it but somebody that's on a hunger family those preservatives are they're gonna do anything they're gonna help them because <laughs> they're not you're not getting anything um, but uh, it would be interesting to know I like the the world your world point of view I would like to know what is the starvation? How many people are starving in the United States right now? Because the, the, it's interesting. Like, I was watching. <clears throat> I was watching. Um, trying to think. You got that? Yeah. yeah, he's got it. I was watching one of these podcasts, and they were talking. About, I wasn't watching a podcast. I was listening to um, something on YouTube. I can't re remember. But they were basically saying, with the how the elections are going on right now, the. <clears throat> Um, if the Democrats are in office, a lot of these world leaders are happy because they want America to leave this world. And having Trump in office, he's pulled away from a lot of these world leaders oh, yeah, the Democrats have been in. So we become less of a world leader for them. And he had made that really clear. Look, it's time for you guys to put your big boy britches and partake in this world. It's not America's job to yep. take care of the world. Which is kind of nice. But it goes back it pulls to us away what's, from being what's the American Basically. starvation level right now? What so, do you got? Um, so in 2018, so this is where, this is where it gets interesting. In 2018, 38 million people are lived in poverty in America or, at a, uh, or a family or, wow, that's odd. And that means earning that earns just twenty five thousand per year. Yeah. In two thousand eighteen, more than thirty seven million struggle with hunger in the United States, including more than eleven million. million. Hold on, um, eleven million children. Um, they're saying because of the pandemic, more than fifty four yes. million people, including eighteen million million children, children they experienced food uh, insecurity in two thousand twenty. Two thousand twenty. Yeah. And we're in right now. We're throwing forty million tons of food. Yeah. So, uh, what's the average consumption of a human being of food? What do you think the a fa like a family an of average four, four? An average of four, a family of four. four. How much do you think they're consuming in? in I would pounds? say a thousand pounds. I would say about a thousand pounds. Hmm. Am I close? 
I don't think it's that much. Are we talking like in a week or are we I'm talking saying like yearly how much is yearly? human beings consuming in America? Uh, if I have a family of four, how much how many pounds of food am I eating? You're telling me I'm throwing away yeah. 40 oh, tons, 40, 40 million, million tons, tons away. Over how year. much food am I eating? I don't a know year. how you can really figure an average on that. They can they can get I mean they figure an they average figure of how much, how much we're throwing, throwing away. away. They can, I would they think can figure out how much they can food at least I'm get eating. a rough amount. You basically I think you would just type in Google and say what is the much, average? What's of the average amount of food consumption of, uh, consumption for a family of four, or something like that? Because <clears throat> to hear that 15, 15, 18 million children are not eating in America, holy cow! And I can't, and it's bizarre. I can't even get my kid to eat. You know, it's like here, eat this. Like I, like whatever you want to eat, we'll get. And so uh, to hear that kids don't even get that. So three to five pounds per day. 35 pounds a day? Three to five three to pounds five. a day. Okay. There's 365. There's 30 times, uh, 30 times, times uh, five. 30 days. Uh, 365 times five. 365 times five, yeah. Okay, yeah. Google. 365 times five. It's 1,825. Wow, I close. was on 825 off. You were close. You guys said a couple thousand. So a couple thousand pounds a year. Is what we're eating. Yep. Wow. And, we're and, we're throwing, and we're throwing. We're throwing forty million. We're throwing one ton of food. We're eating one ton of uh, as a family of four a year, and we're throwing okay, forty million of it away. Yeah. Two thousand so, divided by four million. It's interesting. Forty million. Interesting numbers. Okay, right. Google. Okay, Google. Mike's a tard. You ever wonder how many tons of food are so sitting in people's homes right now? Waiting for this pandemic. Oh man, get worse. You know, I know there's a lot of preppers out there. Just when when March hit, oh, yeah. these preppers were like, not, "Told you, I told not, you, yeah. I told you." <laughs> that is the percentage difference. So like, I don't know, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> the the other weird part about it's all that too is like, <laughs> there's still people not working. Yeah. Since we went and shut down a lot of these places, so like, they're spent already so six months not with, working with my work. Um, we just found over in the area where I work, Corbin's is closing down and wow. Stain Mart is closing down. So we've actually gone over and talked to those folks about having them come to us for uh, jobs. And I did an interview today for a lady that heard about what was going on yeah. and uh, actually got a job. Nice. Cool. That's great. So, That's fantastic. It's we're sad to see those businesses hold. go out, but <laughs> we're on hold yeah. for hours. Because it's kind of hard to do training classes. So we're on to your uh -huh. uh, view, <laughs> questions, and answers. Yeah, I don't know if there was any questions. I was watching as it was going, but I don't know. Did you see anything? Um... So Rick was saying, I'm not going to name names, but we have heard that some places do put down COVID down as cause of death so they can get federal funds when it's not the real cause of death. Yep, heard about that too. I heard about that, yep. Um, we already saw the part about the war and, and swine so flu movies joke. Got it. What's up? Your mother. No. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. I saw I like it. Okay. I was ignoring that comment. I like, I like it. it. I like 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 it. That means he might have to go in the middle. Nope. Then that, mean, then that means you got to move that camera. Get the temporal slap. Can't move that camera. <laughs> there ain't no way. Oh, nice. We got the what? Got the F board. What was it called? I don't know. You said it. Is Allie's name on there? You said yeah. it though. You better put your name on there. No, you didn't say it in a demeanor that was. She yeah. did. She oh. said. She I said have. The title I have the fuck board. Oh, if, two. If you know two. Two. Two dollars. But you, you got to put yours on there. But though. you know what? I like the idea of the. Because I said the top one. Oh, I like the idea. I, that, the I like the idea of the, the, of the slapping. I think that's a great idea, but I think it's something that we do at the end of the show, oh. and it has to be one of those those slap contests on the like that. You never seen those competitions? Yeah, they I slap each other. Yeah, they're like, Bam! Bam! <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it at the end of the show. No, if you drop an f bomb. No. What about an Indian rug burn? No. Ah, you're a puss. What did you do to him? Mike? I'm I'm the one being a puss, and you're the one actually doing the object onto me. 
Oh, that, that doesn't make sense. Uh, All right, so there's no time. Thanks. We, that's We're good. About 13 seconds. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think there's anything else in there, right? Random thoughts. Oh yeah, I did. I had some. I had a couple things here and there. They're not written down on there because for whatever reason they're downstairs in a paper. I like my no 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 no. It's not in that. Um, it's been deleted. <laughs> some of the stuff that I've noticed, I guess it's like I. So a couple of random thoughts that I, I do have triggered in my brain is a lot of people of uh, just just watch yourself when you see things posted out there uh, and just be very very careful just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's real <laughs> and it doesn't I mean you this sure shit, this shit is dude you're like the first one I can confront on things that you post and I go and dig into it and then I'm like that's not real that's not real did you see a couple so weeks ago? I just, just I be think careful, it's funny shit. and I and I go back to that six M&M. percent. What's M&M? that? M&M? What about a couple of weeks ago? There was someone that posted that said that M M&M and M was dead. Oh, the and dead. Like all these people started putting uh, all these like memorial yeah, things up, they got, saying, they got tagged on "Oh, that. I loved you so much, M M&M and M and everything." Yep. And he wasn't really dead. Yep. <laughs> it like blew <laughs> up. Like, it yep. wasn't it like 2016 or something like that. No, it just happened like two weeks ago. Again? Yeah. That's yeah. the second time. Yeah, I just think it's because it just, happened. I think it's it's, it's important to be careful and just my random thoughts is just be careful what you're reading out no, there. It's um, not all true. If you see it, it takes five minutes to go and find something to find out how real it is. And um, Facebook is actually putting on there where it actually fact checks it. Yeah, a lot of times it'll delete it out. Yeah, it'll either delete it or it'll say this is there's Twitter's facts. the same way. Yeah, the mics uh, are Twitter's off on the screen. So that's coming from Ryan. By the way, mics are off with the screen. Okay, so there's they're delays. So. Yeah. One more thing I added to the list of so throwing your, that thing away. Random My random thought was it was primarily yeah, just kind of good job OBS. Be careful with all that. So yeah, but it's a good point. All right, well, you hear that? Oh, okay, guys. It's that time. You know, are you ready for it? Hey, Mike, send, send it. it. You know what pisses me off, Google, is that when people are still driving and texting, that is so darn irritating when the light turns green and we're still sitting at the green light because you have to send a darn text to your boyfriend or to your girlfriend. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Just get off the damn phone. Put it off to the side. Because sooner or later, when this whole COVID thing's done, don't forget, they still have that law where it is against the law to be on your phone. So sooner or later, cops are going to start pulling you guys up for it, and then you're going to say, the cops are so horrible. They got me for texting. It's so horrible. Well, get off the damn phone. Just put it off the side. Drive your damn cars. I don't understand why it's got to be such a concept to put it in drive, and you drive, you see a red light, you stop at the red light. You see a green light, doesn't mean you sit there for three minutes texting your boyfriend, girlfriend, and then say, oh, it's a green light, and then take off, and then only allow two people to go through. Come on. Just drive your cars. Not hard. I think I'm probably much, but I have more time. You have more time. I have more time. See, these, these random things, man. Okay, so more rants. Um, What's another thing that this... Grind your gears. I guess we're, we're going to go with the tablet thing. If you're going to make an actual thing that basically tells you how to do something, please, for the love of God, make sure that it's actually the type, topic and title is the exact same damn tablet. On your tutorial? I spent 12 hours on this damn tutorial. 12 hours! Just to find out that he actually has a different model. Because he didn't take the time to show you what model on the tablet He's like, yeah, this is the model I have, and I was using the model that he had. Follow the exact same tutorial and find out that the company doesn't even make it. All right. Well, on the other topics, Matt, you got some fun stuff to talk about? So, yeah. The kind of tie to that, I mean, that, that, I mean it, it is still happening, and it's really bad here in Fort Wayne. Um, Elena and I were driving to the north side of town to go to the car show, and a dude's driving 25 mile an hour on the left part of the lane where people usually go a little faster. Mm-hmm. And he's just cruising along, one hand on the wheel, one hand up like this. 
just talking through his phone. And it's like, I mean, and it's a newer car. Every new, almost every new car now has the Bluetooth <laughs> function built into their CD player, so you can sit there and be able to t- hands free. I mean, yeah. that's what you should do, dude. You should install Bluetooth in people's cars now. You can buy them at Meyer. I know, but you can make so much money installing them. You need Bluetooth installed in your car? Yes. Bam. Talk to Because I will plug it right in your cigarette lighter and call it a day. Because that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Plug That's it. it. You know, plug it in your cigarette lighter. That is it. it. I have both of them in my van. I have, you, one in I have one in my van. I have one in the car. Like the Glade plug. plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. in. Plug. <laughs> I'll bring it in next time when we're doing these. I'll bring Mike, both of mine in. Mike Massey, you can buy them at Walmart uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth for twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. It broadcasts right. Bluetooth off of ninety seven point so, seven. Done. All right, we got to bring up your uh, fun Matt topics. topics. Matt topics. Okay. All First right, one. that was fun. Did you guys like the uh, the camera angle on Mike's noggin? It was nice. Yep, I like the T Rex. I think the T Rex was fun. Not trying to be awkward, but you have pretty blue eyes in that. Yeah, so, you can see. Yeah. That's some really weird eyes. Yeah. Yes, it's because of clear eyes. <laughs> 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 All right, so fun topics here. Uh, Gigantus geyser erupts for the first time in six years. A Yellowstone National Park. Oh, shit. Um, nice. You can time... The cool thing that they were talking about, it wasn't tied to the actual article, but they say you can actually time these things down to the minute on these guys. Pretty cool. Um, next funny... Next... Whoa. We're having a little technical difficulty here. Okay, next one. Um, Greater Fort Wayne. This one's really cool. Uh, Greater Fort Wayne Industry. Uh, has 27 retired Fort Wayne meters that they normally use for meters for time? Yes. When you were to used? take during your time of yep. parking. Now they're called the meters of mission. Uh, they're installing them, these 27 non profit organization meters all over downtown Fort Wayne. Uh, the whole list is actually listed on the uh, link that Elaine is going to send up. And they're um, not like parking it's meters. Like, they're uh, just big meters. Brothers, or- it's meters that they've designed and everything. It's uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, other nonprofit organizations. With everything going on with the, the pandemic and everything, it's hard for some of these different organizations to be able to get people to come in. So they're putting them all over, and you can just put your loose change in it. And then they're yes. picking up the money to be able to donate. But are, so these are the old, they're old meters. The old meters with the yes. quarters. Okay. Non-functioning meter that's not used for parking. They're using them now just to just randomly to have them. I want to go find them and take some pictures of them. So. Yeah, let's do that. It's like we, the elephant. We can uh, make There's, that a... Uh, put a mask on them. Can, let's make that a, a We can do that out. on Sunday, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's nice because we're... I'm gonna, just, I don't want to defu- or deflate your your uh, your passion on that, but uh, you know there's a coin shortage in America right yes. now, right? Yeah. It's a good opportunity there to put some coins in the machine that you don't mm-hmm. have any coins for it. Can't oh, even go to the bank and cool. I know and it's can't, great, and it's you great, can't dude. even go to the bank. <laughs> no, it's great. I just, it's weird. You know the the funny thing is, you really want to think about it. Is that, and you could probably look it up, and I probably, and that probably be another topic that we could probably do. But bitcoins, they're talking that that China is already getting to the point where they're going to be by themselves of their own entire currency is going to be gone, and everything's going to be bitcoin. They've talked about Bitcoin for the longest time. And it's, and it's, they're getting closer. There's t- they've already they're getting China closer. is getting like to the point they're going to go, gone. And if we're already in a coin shortage, how hard is it for us to go, no money? I don't think there is. We're already done, no coins. There's already stores. There's gas station that says no cash. So Bring this a credit is, card in. This is the, the situation. Or you can round it up. So this is the situation. <laughs> Did you hear about what? No, what they say the, no cash at all. I know, but there was a place that was rounding up. Oh, like, rounding up. Yeah. They were rounding up and not telling anybody. Kroger. <laughs> Kroger. Was it Kroger? I thought it was a restaurant. That is awesome. Kroger rounds it up and then puts it towards your, your next purchase. Your next purchase. The, uh, this place was rounding up and keeping the money. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were, I can't remember what nice. restaurant it was. It was a restaurant, I, I think. A restaurant, but that's But funny. they were, what they would do is that <laughs> they were telling the waitresses that this if you just round it up, and then they would charge, and then I wonder how much the money chain. they made. Well, this is the thing: <laughs> the government found out and got involved. <laughs> and they told them to knock their shit off. <laughs> but there's a lot yeah. of stores that are saying no cash. They, Why not? they only t- accept credit cards. 
I don't so think we're it, in that right now it's there. Not, it's not a shortage. The issue that, and I come from the how field not, of this. How is it not a shortage? So, let me finish. So it's not, I don't believe it's really much of a shortage. It's the fact that the companies that are supposed to be going out and getting the money, they have no people to use. The normal people. You mean like Brisk? Like Brick. Brisk. Br or brick. Um, yeah. Brinks. 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 Darda. Sorry. They don't have enough people to go out and go to these different places. To what go. are they doing? They don't have people. I think that. I wonder no, if also. That don't sound right. I, I wonder if also like part of the right part of talk the, to some of those guys. I think well, I'm wondering if it's part. Of, well, I'm wondering yeah. if it's part of the uh, <clears throat> containment of COVID. You're not passing around coins, coins could and change. Yeah. Might have been part of a, a federal mandate. But these it's still in theory, they can still, as of right now, can just go. Like that, because there was already stores that are already literally not taking cash. They're not. It is weird how, though, if you think about it, in the last six months, how quickly we've done all of this. Yeah. How everything has just quickly not have that in this. But no, it's great. Let's uh, let's make next a, one. Make a date and go take some pictures of some uh, yeah. some awesome meters. I want to find the Bob Marley one. Ones. The Bob Marley. It's not a nonprofit the, one, but there is a Bob Marley. Oh, Bob um, Marley. You think he's smoking a joint? I think I don't think he is in that. But there That's is a photo bullshit. of him floating around. It's not around. a true bar Marley. Not, yeah. We'll go down there with a the joint and put it right beside it. Can it's not legal? Okay. Well, so you can get next one. <clears throat> so That's, there's a coin shortage because old people can't go because of COVID, and there is less old people paying with coins. That's what Brian thinks. That's a good point too. Yeah. That's true. That's his opinion. That's that was, what he says. Yeah, he says, that's my opinion. That was, right. that was, that's how Ryan talks. That's my opinion. That sounds like someone else I know. Mm. Anyway, so next interesting uh, one, uh, ring doorbells. As much as this has been beneficial to the police, be able to help with crime and everything, to be able to locate the areas, it's actually hurting them too because when they need to go serve a warrant and break into someone's house and arrest them, <laughs> They're getting early notification from other people's ring doorbells. <laughs> the FBI is investigating a lot of this because of the fact that people are putting these doorbells up to get early warning. <laughs> and yeah. believe me, oh, the sensitivity yeah. on ring doorbells is a pain in the ass. Yeah. You can't get the doorbell system to, to work. Like, there needs to be, there needs to be a better program for that that thing because that thing is the Goes off worst all the time. it looks like from 1990 when computers became awesome ring doorbell said i got an idea let's go back to the <laughs> 90s and look for software to run our camera oh my i i, I yeah. finally think i've got it close i've got it to where i can see like the, the front motions. door would literally go off the whole fucking day as soon as my van oh moves, soon as my van three moves, three Soon as my van moves, <laughs> a car goes by. There's well, someone in front it, of your front it, door. I've got it pretty close. There's motion though, in front of your front door. Ring doorbell. If you're it's listening, very touching. I'd like to be sponsored by you, but you need to fix your software. Yes. So it's interesting. Put the, the software that you use on the spotlight camera oh, on the doorbell camera. Yeah. You do that, we'll be golden. Yeah, because we can pinpoint, like we can edge you don't it have right the on the sidewalk. Do you? I have a security we can, we can spot edge it just right on that sidewalk. Yeah, Someone can drive where you right can by. Actually map the zone. Don't have any problems. Um, the one awesome. in our backyard, we can map the zone. Yes. yes. Imagine that on your doorbell. Be Imagine cool. being on your well, doorbell. Ours, the way it's set up, we're able to dial ours in. Well, no, it has the, the. It's the wide view. It has view. these the pie yeah, shapes. Yeah, you can shut it off. Up. Yeah. I'm saying. We've already took off the pie shape. With the security light, if you did that little where you can make a nice whatever. Yeah, pattern. Pattern. We did that too. Did same thing. And apparently, a car is a person driving on the road. But I don't know. Your road yeah. is a little more off the drag strip that I yes. have out here. Um, it's our cameras are yeah. so great that it's actually identifying the, the car, the person in the driver's seat driving by. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's great. All right, moving on. That was that's cool though. That's funny. Which is yes. this is true because oh, 
There's actually on the community but, thing for the ring. Yeah, you can see when people... You can see yeah. there was actually one video where this person said, yeah, the cops are at my door. They were taking the big hammer thing, yeah. and they're standing there waiting to go next door to go break in, and they're yep. practicing, not literally hitting the person's yes, door, but, but they're like practicing before they go next door to take out this person's door. That's crazy. But the, the crazy part is Trump is actually going to be passing a bill where they cannot do a knock and break in. That, they have to knock. That's sponsored by Rand Paul. They are knocking. To, that's, a Rand, that's a Rand Paul bill. You know that, right? Yes. That's not a Trump bill. But, okay, this so Rand, it's Rand Paul. This is Rand my bad. Paul. Rand the Paul. Same guy, my, my the same person. guy that got harassed yes. by Black Lives Matter's yes, yes. group. And but the, he's the, passing the, a bill the, where the cops have to knock on the door, announce that they're out in front of your door, and if, then if you don't answer, then they can break in. So, they just can't so is do it, is it a of, pull in, break the door down, and run into your is house. Is it going to be like that video that I sent you guys where the guys are like, or no, I meant, I mean, Arizona police. Did you notice that video I sent you guys? I did watch the video. Yeah, it, no, it's like, imagine in a house like this, you don't know what's going on. You can't hear anything and everything. And someone just knocks on the door. So, police. Are you like, serious? Really? That's how that That's video a... sound like. When they knocked on the door, they're just... In mine, it was pretty loud. What the hell? And, I mean... he, okay, so I've heard police talk. It's, police! That's, that's not what that guy did on that video. Yeah. He was, police. I've had apartments right next really? to someone, like, and they're like, that, yeah, I so like, get on it. Or, or they're using their flashlight, and like, you're indenting their flashlight inside the door. Yeah. So it's loud. Who in their right mind is going to be a dumbass and open your door with a gun in your hands? Well, he opened the door like a dumbass. He did. Sure. That's his own fault. But and he should have cracked be... the door open So with this the is gun my like thought. The person not... that should be charged is should the dude upstairs, upstairs that yeah. lied about the situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. He should get manslaughter charges. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bad situation. The officers did what they normally trained to do. But they should have been a lot. They should have been a little They got louder. caught off guard. And the, I think, I mean, you can kind of see where the dude, like, oh, I just messed up, but he's, it's too late. It's too late. It, yeah. His time frame is, that's that second video yeah. where it breaks it all down. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I think, I, I've met a, a numerous amount of police officers, and they're always talking about how that's the, the worst thing they want to do is show up at somebody's door. But they want to make sure they know that police is on the other side of that door. Like, it's yeah. not a, a it's yeah. not a, like that. And that, that's exactly how that door went. Like, he was, like, quickly getting to the door and then moving on. And they already knew there was loudness in that apartment. There is no way they even. He probably thought it was that douchebag upstairs, back downstairs, knocking on the goddamn door again. And that's why he opened up the way he did. And by that time, it was already over. Well, like, the, he had no. He had no way of returning. Yeah, he His reaction was the same reaction as a cop killing him. Yeah. So, so lesson learned there is if you're going to show up at the door with your gun. Don't go through the door. Don't bomb rush like he did. Just beak open and go, <laughs> hey, can I help you? And then if you are hanging on to a gun, just say, officer, I just want to let you know I do have a gun in my hand, and I'm going <clears> to... Well, they saw the, the gun. Ground. Well, and no, they, no, they, they can't see it if you're prying the door open. And, if, and if, you're, if you're... If I was in that situation, and I had no way to see out other than a people, I would be like, oh, shit, there's cops. Give me one second, sir. And then I would, like, put it away. Yeah. And then I'd be like, yes, can we come in? Yes, I have a gun uh, in the, off to the side here because I was protecting myself. I didn't know who it was late at night. Yep. Like, just be very, like you do in a car, both hands Straight on the forward. wheel. Yep. Here's my driver's license. Here's my handgun license. Because they're going to look to see that you have a handgun license on yeah. you. And they're going to know that, hey, I see you have a handgun's license in the system. Where's your gun at? You know, I don't have one it's today. Just, it's common sense. So, yeah, guns. Cops don't like guns. Cops don't like guns. Well, they I mean, don't like Betty running out of the with car guns. and yeah. taking out the not, They don't like people that don't know how to properly handle guns yeah. and know the laws. Yeah. Well, and it's nervous too. I can see, I can see people being nervous. I mean, anytime I have a cop behind me, I'm not, I haven't done anything wrong, but still, you get that like, ooh. But there's a cop back there. There, ha there is a video out there. They, there is a uh, uh, news news person. I can't think of the other person's name right now. Thing. But they went and took them to the police station training. Yeah. 
it was a news broadcast. It, how, it, was a, it was a show that was actually process. were all against the cops. Cops are this, cops are this. So they, they took them to training, and they had different kind of stops that they did. And so one was where a normal traffic stop failed immediately. Because literally as soon as the, yeah, I have my license are in here. Boom. Like literally the guy was like, what just happened? He's like, it was dead. He's showing like, like splits, and he's like, you have really? a split second reaction so then, time. So then he's like, all right, well, we're going to do this one. And he's like, I want you to stop that guy. So basically the guy comes around, dips under the car, comes up, boom. And he's like, you're dead. What? It's like, how that? And then the next one, the guy was actually grabbing his wallet and the guy actually shot him. And he's like, you just killed the guy that was unarmed. Yep. So even a non-trained person, yes, the guy was not trained, but they're just showing, hey, yeah. you know, there's a lot of training that they got to do to see all that stuff. So, all right, um, what's last your next one. fun topic so that we got here? The last one's really cool. Um, guy catches neighbor kid repeatedly playing in his driveway. So instead of this guy getting upset and everything about it, mm -hmm. he decided to go out there in the dark and drew an actual racetrack on his driveway. Oh, concrete cool. driveway. It was this little kid on a bicycle. I mean, the kid couldn't be much more than like three, four years old. Kind of like when Ryan would ride yeah. his bike at the neighbor. So he drew an actual race course and it said at certain points, like in the video, um, it shows it says slow down here, speed up here kind of thing. Oh, like and you see these course. cool little videos <clears throat> of this kid and his dad and his mom goofing off and going nice. through this little obstacle course in his driveway. That's cool. So that was That's pretty funny. That is a really cool. That's a really yeah. cool, cool thing that. You know, it's gone viral. So, too. Some neighbors would probably be really upset yeah. about it. Yeah, get guy, out of my driveway. This kid was like, guy this is, is cool. Embracing the uh, the neighbor yeah. and might have changed that kid's perspective on yeah. how he treats people later in life. And the link it shows in there um, shows the actual video of the guy going out there and talking about what he did and everything. And the kid got really good at driving on. So. Driving or riding? Driving, riding. Did he have training wheels? No. Was it a tricycle? No, just normal little bikes. Yeah. That's all I got. Did the parents ride their bikes? Yeah. They rode their bikes to the course, too? Yeah. You guys should see the video of them <clears> actually going How big is it. this guy's driveway? I know, that's what I was about to Two say. Two cars? Like... Two cars driveway and parents it was pretty good. ride. Yeah. You should see the video. It's pretty cool. Well, there's a link right there. Oh, eventually. I see the doorbell one. Yep, I see the doorbell one too. All right. You guys have anything else out there in uh, the internet world? How many people watching? Remember, we're trying to hit 500 followers on the page, and when we hit that, we'll give a $50 gift card. If you need some uh, vendor, you know, need some glasses made. Yep. Once again. Best girls experience. We're Our, now. My uncle, uh, uncle made these. Yep. With uh, um, a Aunt Jen on them. Uncle Aunt Jen. Yes. Yep. So, so if you're looking those, at having something made, there's a guy in there. His name's Richard Fry. He can make you decals. So if you need something made, make sure you send him a PM, and he will make you something. I'm not going to say it's free. It's probably going to cost some money, but I assure you. That you have something that you could sell and you could offer that service. Um, there was a, a, a new light to the stream, Justin Pearson. He um, he's either engaged or to be married, which is the same thing, or is married to a person I work with. So Justin, I appreciate if you're still watching the yeah, show. Awesome. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know how long you guys are in here. I don't get to see the counter. It doesn't show how many people are actually watching, which is somewhat frustrating we are working on the other three <clears throat> hey greg awesome. greg buddy he retired from my uh, job that's cool yeah good stuff there but, was uh, uh one other thing that i thought was interesting what's uh, that so over the weekend um elaine and i i got to experience what, what she that? does with uh, her photography stuff yeah and uh she went and did uh photography of one of her friends of the family uh house and within Two days? One day, she's already have three or four people lined up through the realtor to go look at that house. Nice. Yeah. So, 
If you need, you some need some photography real done. Photography. Are you selling a house? Do you have a house that needs to get sold quick? Does the interior of your cell phone photos of your house look crummy? Well, then. You... Is there dead bodies in your house? We can't, 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 we can't do that. Like, no. No, oh. no dead bodies. <laughs> this oh. is supposed to be a very good commercial I'm trying to do. So here in a second, <laughs> Elena's is going to post up a link of her page. Right. Do you have a house to sell? And does the interior photos from your Apple cell phone look like crap? Then what you should do is click the link that's going to be posted next where Elena can come out, take pictures professionally of your home, and sell it within days at full price, hopefully. And don't buy an Apple again. Get a Samsung. Just don't take cell phone photos to sell a hundred, dollars $500,000 And home. people do it. I know. It's terrible. I know realtors <laughs> that do it, and it looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she will make sure that if there's a blood stain on the wall, she will not take that picture of that she wall. She will not do that. Michael is a moron. Michael will go out and clean that blood stain for you instead. I think what's going to happen is he's going to have a blood stain of his I own. I think Mike's got a lot of businesses. He's so, installing Bluetooth for $20, plugging it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. He's wiping blood stains off walls so Elena can come in later and take a photo of your house. Yep. So Ryan wants to know about the Call of Duty and the uh, how Fortnite sucks. Um, I mean, we could uh, in the show. What is, what is up with the PUBG and Fortnite? There's some kind of thing I just saw where Fortnite is doing some something with PUBG to kind of get back at Apple. I don't. Sounds like a topic for next episode. Yes, yes it sounds like a topic next that week. we'll be doing. I don't know. It sounds like uh, Ryan wanted to talk on the show about how Fortnite sucks, sucks and how the new Call of Duty is coming. Hey, why don't we have him as a guest next Next yeah, he can do the topic of Fortnite on how it sucks in the new Call of Duty. <clears throat> so next week, we will have a guest appearance of Ryan talking Little ginger. about Little ginger. Fortnite sucking Little ginger. and how the new Call of Duty that's coming, it looks pretty epic. It looks really epic. So and I'll get some brothers. trailers made for that, so that way at the end of the show, hey. we can watch some trailers. Craig. Jason, Craig. I sold a house with a cell phone pic. Ah, Greg! My buddy Greg sold his house with cell phone pick. Good job, Greg. But, question is, what was the full price? Wait, yes. Did you get full price? <laughs> yes. Greg's a good guy. I, I can't wait to see him again. Great Fortnite. Greg, I got to get you over to have some cigars and whiskey. Zero. I'm finally kind of getting some of that build up in my bar. Matter of fact, I did. I posted a picture of a uh, cigar I had last week. Yes, you did. And I tasted oh. that cigar for three days. <laughs> did you see what Jeez. Elena? Did you see what Elena and I went and had? We had sushi. I know you posted that you had sushi. I'm surprised yeah. you didn't talk about that place. Is it, yeah, I forgot. Your I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's on. It is on the page. And Greg got full price. He did get for full price. House. Not bad. Wow. <laughs> Greg, sounds like you got some competition out there. Yeah, you, you might have to start taking gig. some pictures. Yeah, she can do actual virtual tours. So you can do virtual tours with 360 cameras. So Elena's got a little link up there. Picture it sold by Elena. So Ryan wants to go from 1 to 10 on Fortnite. What do you guys rate it? 1. 0. I rate Fortnite a 3. I give it a 3 because out of 10, it still gets me pissed off. <laughs> So, so, so why would they this it? is the real question. What doesn't get, get you pissed off? <laughs> uh, seven days to die, I don't get mad at. That's because I you're... mean, you guys have played with well, me, so you, you know. Also, we have not played against players yet. No, I mean, I, I don't have a problem even playing with players. I think I can handle just fine. Okay. Uh, but it's the battle royale. It's what has happened with the gaming industry is that you have people that have a day job as a Gamer. gamer. Gamer, yeah. So gaming is not entertainment. Call of Duty, Fortnite, if you're watching, Activision, if you're watching this, this stream, all I ask you to do is make an old man league. Yeah. An old man league that was born in the 70s to the 80s time frame. It just wants to go in there yeah. and or chill in the game. No, no, no. no you know what I, mean? I don't want to go in there about you know somebody doing do? 16 hours of just I, daily grinding. This would grinding. be the best part right here. This would be the best. And this would knock everything out of the, out of the park. What? Just bring back the old servers. 
Bring back your Boom. old servers. Yep. Problem Activision. solved. What's bring the here? servers back. Look forward to it. Yes, bring the servers back. Problem solved. Because then we can actually host our own damn damn server, and then we don't have to worry about all the dumbness. Yep. Well, anyways, we're getting to uh, we're getting to where we're talking out of sides and mouths. But uh, huh. Greg, it's a pleasure. I'll get you over here. We we'll have cigar, have some whiskey. Ryan, I rated a three. I know you rated a one. Ryan's pretty badass at Fortnite, though. Zero. Piece I've of watched, junk. I've watched Ryan dominate and trash can some people. So yeah, Call of Duty though is a fun game. I still get pissed off. Yeah, but how long did Fortnite? How much? How long did? How many hours of Fortnite does he play though? In a day. He doesn't play as much as he used to though. But during the summer. Well, the same. He played a lot of. I mean, he was game. working third shift. What, what do they call him? Sweaties. Sweats. Sweats. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He was working third shift. Do you think they got sweats in reg in regular games? Like football or basketball or anything like that. Well, I mean, wouldn't you think they are? Because, I mean, they're professionals and that's all they do. But I, I mean, the attitude of, like, if you were to play a one on one. Oh, with, you mean like, like a professional Le football? If you were to game? play a, like a one on one with LeBron James. I would destroy him. I know. Do you really to Michael Jordan? I know. But I'm just I'm saying in a way that there would be like some casual fun and there'd be a little bit of in your face. The casual, oh, you mean, the casual, oh, you mean like actual, actual um, playing the game? Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, they do that. But there's, like I was saying, there's casual fun. And video games are just not casual fun oh. anymore. But they have that, though. They maybe, have the. Maybe um, we need to have a casual fun. It was, uh, casual frozen. 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 Uh, frozen, frozen is it frozen do you nose? suck at video games? It's a frozen nose. Do you frozen just want to play Show and again. think about something else frozen other nose. than the shitty thing that you did at work? Frozen. Or how your job sucks? Frozen. Join the. Casual gaming crew. It's like basically <laughs> against a basketball player, pro, a basketball pro player, and then a guy that's not a. All right, all right, we're pro. stretching it. We've been at it a while. I screwed up in the beginning. Ow. Dude, we're past LBS. like three hours. We're not past three hours. Nope. We started at eight. No. It's nine fifty-two. We tried starting at eight. Okay, we started at eight fourteen. Anyways, cheers to you guys. I think it goes. Thank you for watching Massey Bros. Experience. Yep. Yes. Embrace the uh, experience. Embrace the experience. Embrace the experience. Goodbye. You gotta hit the button. You gotta hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We are still on the show. Did it show in stream yet over there? Ellie, <laughs> can you hit the in stream? No, don't do that. I have a button that does it. <laughs> that is not working. Momentarily, this day has been awesome. <laughs> Ready? Cut! Sing! And... Cut! Cut! Sing. Adios, amigas and amigas! Uh, So he's ready for some, uh, some coming in to die. I close.